This, my friend, is a hydrometer, and you will need it to see if your homemade sodas are alcoholic. Or maybe you want to know the percentage of your brew. This will work with any of your fermentation projects. It's not all that difficult, but there is some math involved. I see other videos quickly getting into the weeds on this topic. Basically, you just want to take a before and then an after. Do the math. It's really that simple. There are plenty of calculators out there and all the number crunching, if you're not comfortable with it, can be done automatically. Of course, the better you control your environment, the more precise you take your readings, the more accurate your results will be. Small changes can make a difference depending on where they sit within the equation. You also need to take two readings. So if you missed one of them, sorry, I won't be able to help you. And you won't be able to determine the alcoholic content. The Hydrometer kit will be around 20 bucks. It will give you just about everything you need. You also need a thermometer. The hydrometer itself will be calibrated to a specific temperature. So check your unit to see what temperature that is. If your brew is not at the same temperature as your calibration, you will need to compensate it. Again, there are all sorts of plug and chug calculators out there online. I'll leave a description in the link below. As my example, I'll be using the pomegranate soda that I made over the holidays. If you want to check out the details on that, click in the link. Basically, it's my ginger brug with some fresh pomegranate juice that a neighbor had. If you just got your hydrometer and want to play around, you can use regular tap water and take a reading. This is actually a good test to make sure that your calibration is correct. If it reads anything besides zero, then you'll need to compensate for that. But first, check your temperatures to make sure that you got the calibration correct. Your initial reading, or what's called your starting gravity, or original gravity. Then, on the other side, you have your, you guessed it, your final gravity, or your end gravity. You can use the equation starting gravity minus your final gravity and then multiply all of that by 131.25. Just use one of the calculators. I'll leave the links below. This is what I got. Now, my temperature wasn't at the calibration of my unit, so I did have to compensate for that. As you can see, on day two, this is where I had my highest alcoholic content. But by day three, all my sugars had been eaten up, and then that had dropped down to negligible levels. From what I understand on consumer products, all alcoholic beverages containing more than 1.1% alcohol by volume must be declared as alcoholic. Check with your local regulations. I hope this helps. Happy fermenting. Until next time, stay relaxed. Keep on living. I see you walk out of the shade Taking its time, mostly because it's chilled and I haven't disturbed it. If I were to close it up, of course. So this is pretty fizzy for me, so I'm just going to just throw it into the fridge and we're good to go.